Thank you, Chris. New at six sticker shock hitting those in the market for a new car. While vehicle inventory is up, so are the prices. TV 5's James Felton reports a local economist has some advice for you on how to save some dough on a new ride. Vehicles are getting more and more expensive year after year, and inflation certainly is not uh, helping with that problem. Northwood University economist Tim Nash tells us if you're in the market for a new car, depending on your budget, the price may be steep. He says the average price for autos, light trucks, and SUVs is up 1.5%. The average of those three categories of vehicles is now about $51,500. And, and if you're looking for an electric vehicle, there's only a couple that are available below um, $30,000. Nash tells us new luxury SUV prices range from $90,000 to $120,000. And Nash says getting that new car financed is more challenging as well. About 15 months ago, you could have financed a new automobile for 2 to 2.5%. Two uh, right now, uh, the range is anywhere from 6 to 8% on a, on a seven-year loan. Given that, Nash has some advice for those looking to save some money on their next new car purchase. I would look at high-quality used vehicles. Uh, secondarily, a lot of people are leasing, and, and so you're going to do your best to negotiate your lease. It may not be through the dealer. Maybe it's through a credit union. Nash is quick to point out the quality of vehicle on the road right now is the best it's ever been telling us on average cars can last 13 years. And that's why Nash says it might be best to hold off on that new car purchase if you can. Find a good mechanic and, uh, and, and take care of the car that you have and, and only buy a new, new car if you can afford it. James Felton, WNEM, TV5. In addition to the rising cost of vehicles, beginning this month, you'll also be paying more for car insurance. The Michigan Catastrophic Claims Association is adjusting its rates because of last year's no-fault auto insurance reform. Drivers received refund checks last year because of it and a $5 billion surplus in the MCCF. Insurance companies cut off payments to many families receiving critical care and funding. A court ruled the insurance had to keep paying them, costing the MCCA billions. Amid other losses, the MCCA is adjusting rates to make up for it. So now, one example, the cost of unlimited personal injury protection is $122, up from 86. And if you don't have PI, be ready to shell out another $48.